Have you ever felt so angry that you didn't know what to do? We all have, because anger is an emotion that's as normal as feeling happy, sad, or scared. It's a strong feeling that can bubble up when something doesn't go our way, or when someone upsets us. Sometimes it can feel like a roaring lion inside us, ready to pounce. But remember, feeling angry isn't the problem. It's what we do when we're angry that can make a difference. If we let the roaring lion loose, it can lead to shouting, arguing, or even hurting others. That's not good for us or for the people around us. But if we learn to tame the lion, to manage our anger, we can use it to stand up for what's right or to work hard to change things for the better. So it's not about never getting angry, but about managing our anger in a healthy way. But how can we know when we are feeling angry? Well, there are several signs that can give us a clue. Have you ever noticed your heart beating a bit faster when you're upset? Or perhaps you start to feel a little hot like you're standing too close to a warm fire. Maybe you even feel like you want to yell or scream, like a lion roaring in the wild. These are all signs that you might be feeling angry. It's like your body's own alarm system, letting you know something's not quite right. And just like when an alarm goes off, it's important to pay attention to these signs. Recognizing them is the first step towards managing your anger. It's like being a detective, noticing the clues and piecing them together. So let's be detectives of our own feelings. Remember, understanding your feelings is the first step towards managing them. What can we do when we start feeling angry? Well, there are some simple techniques we can use to cool down. It's like having a toolbox full of useful tools for different situations. Firstly, you can take deep breaths. Imagine filling your body with fresh, cool air and then letting out all the hot, angry feelings with each breath out. This helps to calm your body and mind. Another technique is counting to 10. This gives you a moment to pause and stop the angry feelings from taking over. It's like pressing the pause button on a movie, giving you time to think before reacting. You can also picture a calm place in your mind. This could be a beautiful beach, a peaceful forest, or even your cozy bedroom. By focusing on this calm place, you can help your mind shift away from the angry feelings. Remember, it's okay to feel angry sometimes, but we can choose how we react. These techniques can help you cool down and think clearly, but what if you're still feeling angry? You might be asking yourself this question. Even after understanding and recognizing your anger, and even after trying to calm down sometimes, the fiery feeling just doesn't go away. And that's perfectly all right. Anger is a normal human emotion, and it's important to express it. But how can we do so in a positive way? Well, one approach is to talk about your feelings. You can share your thoughts with someone you trust, like a friend, a family member, or a teacher. This helps to let out your feelings and get some understanding. Another way to express anger positively is by writing in a journal. Jotting down what you're feeling can be an excellent outlet for your emotions. You could also channel your anger into something creative. Maybe you could paint a picture, dance, or even write a story. Remember, it's okay to express your anger as long as you do it in a safe and respectful way. What if managing your anger feels too hard? Well, don't worry, it's perfectly okay. We all face challenges we can't handle alone sometimes. And when it comes to feelings as strong as anger, it's wise to seek help when it feels too much. Here's a tip. You can always turn to a trusted adult when you need help with your anger. This could be your mum or dad, a favorite teacher, or even a counselor at school. These are people who care about you, understand you, and want to help you handle your feelings better. They can provide you with useful advice, or maybe they'll just listen. Sometimes talking about your feelings can make a world of difference. It can help you understand why you're feeling angry and guide you towards managing it better. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. You're not alone, and there are people who care about you and want to help. 